You know, I, I think to get started, I just simply want to recognize um, a simple and uh, ir irrefutable fact. Um, there's a lot of noise out there. There's a massive, incredible amount of noise out there. It's almost deafening. Everyone is sharing their opinions, positive or negative. Every, everyone is making recommendations. Everyone is influencing other people's buying behavior. Um, and by now, uh, every company under the sun has woken up to the realization that they need to tune into the uh, cacophony of conversations um, that are taking place virtually every second of, of, of every minute of every day um, because um, a lot of these conversations are about their brands and about their, uh, about their products and their services. Um, and the good news is that the tools exist today to be able to um, to do exactly that. Um, and, and in large part, these tools are powered by something called text analytics. But, but don't worry, we're not going to be talking about uh, computational linguistic algorithms or natural text uh, processing systems. All I want to say is that these systems provide the foundation for the more sophisticated social media monitoring and uh, customer feedback management tools on the market today. They really d uh, drive most of the business value. Um, that companies are getting uh, uh, from these types of tools. Um, and using them, companies can quickly identify uh, relevant verbatims in social media. They can sense, uh, make sense of the feedback uh, they're collecting through customer satisfaction surveys, um, from their call center agents, and, and through any number of other channels and touch points, email, uh, web chat sessions, uh, really, you name it. Um, and, you know, and companies can classify these comments by positive or negative sentiment. And you know, we're hearing a lot of uh, buzz these days about uh, this notion of sentiment uh, analytics. Um, but really, they can engage in all kinds of text mining exercises, exercises to reveal unexpected patterns and trends. They can even discover uh, that occasional aha that can uh, make all the difference in the world when it comes to improving uh, the customer experience and and ultimately uh, increasing shareholder value. Um, so uh, I'd like to uh, <clears throat> you know when I think about the voice of the customer, I, I really divide it into uh, into two uh, camps: um, solicited and uh, unsolicited uh, information. And 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 to some extent, this is all, also the difference between um, social media monitoring and, and customer feedback management. Um, so you know, I uh, for for uh, for New Year's, you know, our family went to a, a restaurant here, Maggiano's, and um, <clears throat> got this receipt. And of course, there's an invitation to go to a website, and um, and what does it say? We invite you to complete our our guest experience survey. So of course, you go through this survey, and um, there's all kinds of answer choices you're going through, and there's also some open text boxes, and and you're you're filling those in, and um, and uh, um, and you know, and as it happens, I, I know I know the folks at Brinker, um, which is Maggiano's parent company, and and I called them up recently, and and I asked them, so so what's the story? Well, approximately two percent of Brinker customers actually complete these surveys, and that translates into about five thousand survey responses a day. And what Brinker um, has found is that there's really a very strong correlation between guest ratings and guest retention. In fact, they, uh, they determined that something like 95% of delighted guests, quote unquote, will be repeat customers. Um, and that percentage drops significantly for people who rate Brinker brands low in terms of performance. So you know, they're looking closely at the data. They're using text analytics, defining the opportunities that are in the data. And, um, and you know it's it's just you know it's key for everyone. You know, and actually, in the restaurant, I noticed that uh, they're, they're playing a lot less Frank Sinatra music. So maybe that was in response to the customer feedback. Although you know, I actually like Frank Sinatra. <laughs>